Hey guys, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Akasia Benhene. If you're new, you're welcome. If you're a tennis subscriber, hey boo, hey boo, what it do? Um, so in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys three to six months essentials, okay? These are things that since my daughter hit the three to six months milestone, I have found myself using literally every day. Some of these things I found myself I found myself using every day. Some of these things as well um, are things that I know that I'm gonna be needing or I'm gonna be using during this milestone. So all together, these are things that I feel like you need when your kid or your baby hits the three to six months milestone. So if you're interested, then please keep on watching. And without further ado, my loves, let's get right into the video. Okay, so the very first thing on my list is a sleep sack or a sleeping bag or a sleeping sack, however you call it. Um, so this stuff is literally my favorite on the list. That's why it's the first thing that I have on the list because it's my favorite. It's the best thing that I've had since I had my baby. I should have had it literally when she was a newborn, okay? It helps her to sleep so well. I'd say that since I had the sleep sack, literally... I've been saying a lot of literally, but I say a lot of that. So you guys probably know by now. But since we got the sleep sack in, she has had the best night's sleep ever. She hasn't waking. She she hasn't had to wake up to feed. I have had to wake her up to feed her, which barely happens. She usually wake up two to three times to feed at night. But since we started using the sleep sack girl, she's not doing that again. She's not doing that again. I've realized that for the past like three days, I've had to wake her up to feed her because then I'm like, I'm sleeping, but then I'm wondering, because you know when you're a mom, you never really sleep. So I'm sleeping and then I'm wondering, will she wake up to feed? And then I just find myself having to make food and then feeding her. And I see she's sleeping so comfortably. If you have a baby that moves a lot, is really fuzzy and you know i think generally when they get to the three to four months stage they're just very fuzzy um it's just I, I think it's just a thing when they get to that stage and the sleeping bag has helped me so much to have a good for myself i've had a good night's sleep because she's sleeping because you know when the baby's not sleeping you can't sleep as well and when they get to the three to four months sleep regression or whatever my god is is you don't want to get there. You don't want to think about it, okay? Like, it's it's just really stressful sometimes. And this sleeping bag has helped me so much. I'm not even going to lie. Like I'm saying, it's there's a reason why it's the first on my list because it's literally the best thing that I've bought. It's my best buy. I'd say it's my best buy right now because she sleeps with it during the daytime. Because of that, she's now able to sleep in her crib. You know, there's this... I, I don't know if all moms, okay, but me... And my husband we have this fear we feel like we don't we can't leave the baby maybe it's because we grew up in ghana so we're pretty much used to cold sleeping and whatnot but we feel like the crib we felt like the crib was too big for her and you know babies generally like move a lot and you don't know what will happen you're sleeping like you don't want to think about it and then you don't even want to do it but with the sleeping bag she's able to sleep in the crib my like, guys you don't even understand she's able to sleep in the crib she's able to sleep very comfortably she, gen she generally doesn't like it when you wrap like her arms so the ones that i have are the ones that she's able to take her arms out which are perfectly okay for me i don't even care if hey, she keeps her like she's okay she sleeps like an angel basically so i love these sleeping sack i absolutely love them i'm gonna link then them link them down below everything that i'm going to show you guys i got from amazon amazon is my literally my it's my i don't even know what word to give to it but amazon is my place to go for all these things so everything that i'll show you guys in this video will be linked down below you can buy them from amazon perfectly fine okay nice they're like they've been so helpful okay they've been like my they've given me my money's worth so i feel like i should share them with you so sleeping sack sleeping back love them the one that i have uh, um they came in a two pack um and it works just right for me you know it works just perfectly so yeah the next thing that i have on my list is teething relief 
um so you know when they get to the four month stage they start to teeth <laughs> I if I find it difficult to say the teething, okay, they start to teeth, <laughs> and um, usually when they get to that stage, it's painful. You know, if you know, you know, it's just uncomfortable. It's irritating. Whatever word you want to use for pain in the body, for the body that's building something for you, you know, and so you need some form of teething relief for them so this is camellia the one that i have is from the brand camellia I also got that from amazon i actually saw this as a recommendation from another youtuber that i watch on here um she said that she bought this one she used it it's good and so i decided to buy it so now what i do is i think i've said this several times in a lot of my motherhood videos but what i do is i like to buy my things in advance okay so i bought this teething relief situation a long time ago before she even started feeling the teething situation in her life okay so i've had this for a while um and the one thing that i like about this particular one is that it's homeopathic so it's natural you don't have to think about anything um you know it's babies and then we're thinking about what's going into their body and stuff this is totally perfect and i i can say that for a fact because i've tried it with my baby we've done two doses so far from this stuff and she hasn't reacted she's perfectly okay she slept well she's fuzzing a little less so i think that she's teething because you know teething is something that you really Really don't see you literally do not see which part of their mouth is like giving the teeth um, and then also apparently teething causes some form of indigestion you know some uncomfortability goes on so this generally helps to soothe everything not just the teething pain but it suits everything and I see that it really works so um, I'm gonna recommend this brand as well from the brand Camellia from Amazon um, they're just liquid doses they come in a pack of 30 so it could should last you for a while and um, definitely okay with my pediatrician as well so this is something that i think that a doctor will recommend because i spoke to my pediatrician about it and she said that this is actually a good brand so um i will recommend this but i'll say that checking with your doctor because this is something that you're taking as like medication so i'm not a doctor i have no chance to give you um medical advice so please check in with your doctor but this has been checked in with my doctor and it's totally fine so um initially i wanted to like put this under like feeding and like sleeping and playing and but in no particular order i'm just gonna be mixing them up because i i feel like i should just talk about everything you know so i'm not gonna like group group them per se so i've showed you guys a sleeping sack which helps with sleeping so that's in the sleeping category and then the medicine is um in medicine category but i don't want to put it in a category because i'm not like telling you to get that and then my next category will be toys and learning so for toys i have my crunchy toys okay she totally loves these yes uh i call them crunchy but they're crinkle i think it's crinkle right yeah it's crinkle these are like the crinkle toys that they play with um this particular one that i have here has the teething toys on them as well so she's able to play with this in her mouth totally fine and what i like about this is you're able to wash it because i was thinking how she's putting it in her mouth constantly should i can i be able to wash this what is this like walking in my face so i was thinking can i be able to wash this but it's totally okay if you wash it so that's i wash it and she loves this particular one that's what i'm showing us she absolutely i don't know if because it looks like a koala bear but she totally loves this stuff and i have another one this particular one looks like a book basically it has like a story going on unicorns blah 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 um, so these toys, these are like her favorite toys right now. The other ones that she has are the teething toys. But those ones, I find that because they're kind of like um, a little tough, I'm scared that she just like use it to hit herself. 
so i put them away for a while um i'm thinking when she's about like five or six months then i'll give that to her but she definitely has those teething toys as well um but for now these are the ones that we love these are the ones that she uses these are the ones that are safe i find so yeah and then also the next set of toys that i'm going to show you guys are her bath toys okay i love these set of ducklings that's what she plays with um when i'm giving her a bath and she loves them and because i know i don't know maybe because they're yellow because kids or babies naturally love colorful stuff so because they're yellow she likes to like just you know she doesn't have a grip on them yet but she plays with them you know just put it play touch it i just love that she has it and i just love that she's able to like see that she's she can play when she's bathing and life cannot be so serious okay so um the next set of toys are the bath toys um we love them she loves them so yeah that's that and in the category of learning i'm going to show you guys some books that we love to read or i love to read to her um the very first one that the the very first one that i see that is literally first book kind of thing is something that helps with brain development this they actually recommended from the pediatrician her pediatrician actually recommended this particular one and she's really attentive when you're opening the pages she's just like really looking at it i think it does a thing with their mentals you know so um uh, this and then also these other ones that i got from a kid's shop is just books that i'm able to read to her you know and see i don't think that she's old enough to even understand what's going on in these books it's nice to like chat with them it's just generally nice to chat sing um to them play music to them so sometimes we do that sometimes we even watch my youtube videos we we do stuff so yeah these are the books that we have and love right now um i just read them to her i don't know if she loves them per se but the the one that helps with the uh the first books one is actually some one that she looks at she's able to like keep her eye on the whole time so that and then the next thing that i'm going to talk about is our height chair i don't know if this is actually a height chair um but this is a chair for when they hit the four-man stage so you know when they hit the four-man stage they start to learn how to sit up and like you know just basically motor skills and sitting up is a part of doing that so you're required to get some form of high chair or some form of sitting situation and the one that we have is a high chair um this you're able to attach to like a higher chair so that it becomes like a proper high chair so it has the straps that you're able to attach to a chair but it's not like a, an actual high chair high chair it's just like the cute little chair that you're able to attach to a chair to become a high chair if you get what i'm saying i'll do that in a video so that you guys see but this one that we have is from the brand fisher price and uh, it, it, it's 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 pretty handy you know like it works okay i don't really have much to say about it it's okay she's able to sit in it if that's what you're waiting to hear she's able to to perfectly sit in it she's able to put her hands on the eating support that comes with it you know the eating tray the food tray that comes with it she's able to put her hands on it um it's, it works perfectly it just works perfectly so yeah so now talking about the high chair it means that we're in the feeding or food category the next thing that i'm going to share with you guys are um our suction bowls i absolutely love these suction bowls the suction for these bowls are great quality okay when you stick them down it don't move <laughs> like it literally doesn't move like it takes forever for me to even take it off and then it gets annoying i'm like i wanted a proper suction bowl but this is so much freaking suction but it works perfectly it's exactly what i wanted you know because when you're feeding babies they like to play they like to move the bowls they like to literally flip and toss spoons and bowls so a great way to feed a baby and um have the food in front of them till they're done is literally having a suction bowl and these two sets i got from amazon it comes in a set of two like this i absolutely love the suction is what is great so one thing i do okay let me give you guys a tip i my husband is always saying this um one thing that i do with online shopping especially amazon when i see the product i don't even take my time to look through the photos or whatever 
I literally scroll all the way down and go to reviews, see what people are saying about it, reviews with videos, and then I look at what people are saying. You know, people are very honest, especially people who live here, they would say it as is. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. If they don't like it, they don't like it, okay? The suction is, the suction sucks, it sucks, and that's, that's what it is so i went through um, a couple of reviews on different products and i find that this works perfectly and i must tell you it works like a charm i love this suction bowl definitely gonna recommend it's all about the suction you know and the suction does a great job so it, it does what it's supposed to do right so i love it i absolutely love it and then next in the category of feeding is my fruit feeder this i actually haven't started using but i also did see that this was something that is definitely essential to um when they hit the four month stage because you know um when they hit four months they're able to start trying solids and i want to start fruits with hair and i find that um using the fruit feeder will be one of the easiest way to get her to actually eat the fruits you know because i can just pop it in there it's literally like a pacifier so she's gonna play with it eat it while she's playing with it you know it's totally like um safe and a good way to get her to start to eating fruit so um, i haven't started using this but um, it has great reviews I've seen that a lot of moms also use this to start their babies on solids. So this is something that I'm excited to try. Um, but I also thought that I'll show you guys since it's a four months essentials. Um, but it's totally cute. I love, love, love this stuff. I can't wait for her to use it. And um, what I'm waiting for us to do is go for our, for our four months doctor's appointment, which is literally in a week. And then after we come back, we're going to start our solids and you guys will see all of that in another video, but I can't wait for her to like properly start solids. Okay. I can't wait. And the last but not the least thing in my feeding category that I want to show you guys is our silicone bibs. Okay. I'm so excited about this stuff. We also haven't started using this yet, but definitely i know that we'll start like i told you guys earlier i'm the kind of mom that likes to buy stuff ahead of time okay i like to be prepared i like to know that i have something when i'm gonna need it i don't want to have to need it and then i'm gonna have to find it okay i don't like to do that so i always um like to make sure that i have something ahead of time okay if it's like unexpected then it's different if i don't see it coming then it's different but if i know that i'm gonna get there <laughs> then i'm gonna be prepared and i know that i'm gonna need these babes because um first of all they're silicone so they're gonna last a long time i don't have to go through the stress of using a washing machine for these and thinking of um when tear you know like i don't have to think about using a material babe which is going to lose the colors going to lose the cotton quality i don't have to think about all of that because this is silicon and it's going to keep being silicon you know what i mean so i'm excited to try these i mean eventually if, if they don't like last or anything you guys will see in a vlog um but i i am excited to try them because they have good reviews they have good reviews and that's what we care about okay reviews is what's gonna get us sold okay reviews is what got me sold and so i'm excited to try using it and then the last thing in my feeding category is my beautiful ikua set i don't know if that's what it's called but it's from the brand called ikoa e-k-o-a um this is a six set feeding um sets for babies you know when babies start eating solids literally like when you start to make homemade that's what i intend to do for when my baby starts eating solids um like fruits blended fruits and stuff i want to make it myself at home and in it um in order to be able to do that and do it well i need containers to basically store the food and sort of meal prep for her i meal prep for myself so this is something that i'm definitely carrying along my generation okay <laughs> so i saw these on amazon it's a set of six they are so cute ah, what the crazy thing is they come with like a measurement so you're able to this is literally a two ounce bowl 
so um, I, um, I can be able to do banana and apple and peas you know I can be able to do like fruits in one line veggies in one line and that can be like meal prep food for like two days you know and then i can change it up again i absolutely love 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 this set okay this is like i said that the very first thing was my favorite this is my favorite too okay it comes with this tray this is like a full set comes with the tray it's just thinking cute it's just thinking cute like so i'm excited to try these i haven't started using them yet but you guys like i said will see all of that in it's in a whole nother video but i'm really excited to try using this stuff because it's so cute now the next thing on my list is going to be um, in skincare category so this is basically the eczema cream this is the avino baby eczema cream um so the avino line is what i've been using for the baby since i had hair and so i figured that it was just right that i get the eczema cream from their brand as well and also it had good reviews okay it had good reviews so i got that and mind you it works okay i decided to get the small container i decided to get the um one ounce so one ounce is very small actually like travel size basically travel size and i got this stuff also in advance before like she started to play with saliva so you know when they get to the four month stage they play with so much saliva okay my daughter literally lays down and then she just I'm not even going to lie like she literally the and then there's saliva and she's just playing with it so this stuff really works nicely um even if it's not eczema it's rash you know they they'll usually get some rush in their neck area because that part is like like i said they, there's just so much going on in that area so this really works well i've been using this for a while now and i find that it works really nicely i love the texture the formula of the cream it's just nice and heavy which is exactly what you want with your eczema cream for dry skin you want it to be nice and heavy nice and rich and that's exactly what this stuff is so um, if you're looking for an eczema cream brand i'd say that try the vino baby because um, this it works well it works really well and i've actually realized that it was good that i bought this size because i only use it in her neck area i only apply this in her neck area i don't use it as a full body cream because my daughter naturally doesn't have eczema like all over her skin she has nice normal skin like me and like her daddy i guess and so she just has the eczema in her neck area not even eczema it's just rash you know <laughs> so she just has the rash in her neck area and i just use this there and it works like a charm and then have the rest of her body is perfectly okay so it's actually okay that i bought the small size so i'd advise you can also buy the small size and use it because i've used it for like a week and it's still like new i still have like a lot and it's nice and thick so you don't even use so much so i don't even need i don't even know how long i'm gonna use this i don't even know if i'm gonna finish using this because this is just a stage and then you're gonna get through this stage and go to another stage and another stage and another stage so yeah maybe that's a tip um but if i have to buy a bigger one you guys would know too <laughs> the last two things that i'm going to talk about are actually mobile phone apps these apps have been such a lifesaver okay the very first one that i'll talk about is what to ex expect there's a what to expect app wte um this app basically like is what the name says it literally what the app does it tells you what to expect every single day in your baby's life okay literally every passing day it tells you something to look forward to a milestone to look forward to if you have a doctor's appointment coming up in two weeks the app is going to kind of give you a head start it gives you a head start on so many things your when it comes to postpartum healing it tells you um when it comes to teething so many things you know like baby playing with the saliva i saw it on the app it tells you things that you're supposed to do in like a particular milestone and when you're not doing you sort of it, it reminds you that you need to do something like it's just a really good app i've had this app actually since i was pregnant with the baby it's the app that i used to track my pregnancy milestones all the way till i had the baby and then now this same app is tracking my baby's milestones all the way till she's i don't know when 
but the app is working perfectly for me and another um, um another plugin that they have that i'll say that i really like is that it has a feeding tracker that you're able to use to track um how many bottles your baby's feeding breastfeeding um formula feeding whatever you're doing with your baby you're able to track their feeding in that app and you know sometimes when you go to a hospital appointment your doctor is going to ask you how many bottles do they run through or how many you want to know you know and then sometimes when you don't have the answers you kind of look stupid but this app can help you keep track of all of this and you don't have to look stupid when you go for your doctor's appointment so this stuff has saved my life and it can save yours so it's what to expect i'll put the icon somewhere on the screen or basically you guys saw a short video of the app so the second app that i'll talk about is the baby tracker this um is very similar to what to expect but as compared i mean but what to expect would tell you what to expect like the app says but a baby tracker is just a tracking app that helps you to track baby sleeping baby's feeding baby's diaper change um how much breast milk you are pumping like it helps you to track a lot of things so it's basically a tracker that helps you to track things so you're able to track baby's milestones like the when the baby did their first like shoulder lift you know like you're able to track literally everything everything under the sun that your baby does you're able to track everything on that app it's called the baby tracker app so the baby tracker helps me to do everything i can also track the feeding in the baby tracker um, but what to expect also has the feeding tracker so if you don't like care for all the other trackers you can just have the what to expect app and then track only feeding um, but what to expect will not give you tracking for sleeping and wet diaper and pumping and all of those stuff so i use the baby tracker app to track like all the other stuff that i cannot do on the what to expect app okay so um yeah oh i'm excited to have shared all these stuff with you i probably was going on and on and on about so many things saying things you, you know but these are things that generally i have found that um i'm excited to have bought for this new milestone that we're at now i can't wait for her to start eating solid so we start to use all these new beautiful bowls and stuff you know but all the other stuff that i showed you guys we were using right now the teething relief the eczema cream the books the toys and stuff there are things that we're definitely using the high chair we use all of them right now and there are things that have helped us so much the sleeping bag guys love 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 the sleeping bag definitely gonna recommend okay so like i said before all these things i got from amazon so if you're interested i'm gonna leave links in the description box below um you can use those links to check them out and yeah that's literally it so i'm gonna go away now baby's sleeping that's why you guys didn't see her make an appearance in this video but yeah you guys will see her when next she's available okay she's busy y'all gotta do booking okay you don't just see it you book to see it appointment first <laughs> i'm just kidding i love you guys i will see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye